Welcome back to Elden Ring. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some new weapons that we got to see from a Red Bull livestream. And just quickly, before we get any further into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So, we have multiple weapons and we even have an armor set to take a look at. These are just brief looks. It's just going to be a series of images we look at. There's random gameplay in the background. And it's just to showcase exactly what some of these weapons look like. We'll even get to see a stat page for one of them. And it's just these weapons, some of them look so cool. So, jumping into the first one. We have a Grafted Blade Great Sword. This one, if you take a look at this image, it's an absolute beast of a weapon. It's a slow hitter, it's heavy, but it's going to deal a lot of damage. I absolutely love the look of this weapon. And then we have a Banished Knight's Halberd Plus 8. And again, looking at an image of this, it's really, really, really long. It deals a lot of damage, and you can use it as a pike so you can stab enemies from far away. It's also got an axe on it so you can just swing and slice enemies up. An incredibly powerful weapon from the footage I saw. And then we're going to jump into the next one, which is a great axe. And I mean, resting this thing on your shoulder, like what's happening in this image, doesn't look too comfortable. It's absolutely massive. And then going to the next one, we have an ornamental straight sword. And unfortunately, I don't have an image of what this actually looks like in game. However, I'm pretty sure because these weapons are being awarded for killing enemies, like the big bosses and stuff in the game, they're just naturally going to be really powerful. And then we do have the one piece of armor. We have a tree and beast surcoat. This one looks quite cool. And that's why I also put the little bit of... Basically like a warning in my video about all 10 of the classes in the game. A lot of the starting armor is going to look hideous. Some people might actually steer clear of a certain class because of how the armor looks. But this just shows that you can be awarded armor for killing enemies and stuff in the game so you're not limited to your starting armor so when you do pick your class make sure that you pick it based on stats and how you want to play the game then we also have a look at a dagger and then the final image is going to be the stat screen and this is for a knight rider flail you'll see that it's got an fp cost it's got a weight to it the game goes really in depth with a lot of the stats for weapons and everything. You've also got attack power, you've got 100 critical, you've got 112 physical, then you've got scaling for the attribute, you've got attributes that are required to use certain weapons. So you can see here strength you only need 10, dexterity you need 24. And then if you look at the very bottom, it's also got a passive effect on it. It causes blood loss buildup. Then you've got over on the right hand side the guarded damage negation. You've got physical, magic, fire, lightning, holy and guard boost. So there are a lot of cool looking weapons in the game. Some of them are going to be really, really strong. They're going to be so helpful when it comes to some of the bosses in Elden Ring. And that is going to wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.